Imagine walking around on the ground here. If you walk around in a circle, eventually you're going to build a rut. And if you keep going and going, the rut can get so deep you can't get out very easily. Well, if you think of a negative emotion like anxiety or depression, we could think of it as activity going around in a circuit of neurons. And what happens in the brain when activity keeps repeating, the connections get stronger and stronger. And then get so strong, they don't want to go away. So now if you're in a state of depression or anxiety and you can't shake it, it's because, likely because, the connections are now so strong. How do you disrupt it? Well, how do you break that connection down? Well, the heroic thing would be electroconvulsive shock, where they put electrodes on either side of your head and they send a big electric shock through your brain. And what it, that does is it relieves refractory depression for a period of time, almost certainly due to disruption of these circuits. Now, there are less heroic, but still heroic uh, techniques like deep brain stimulation. But imagine that breathing is playing a role in this circuit. And now you start to breathe for 30 minutes at a different rate. That will begin to disrupt the circuit. You'll get a short-term response. You'll feel better afterwards. But if you keep con continuing to do that, there's a process in the nervous system, just as activity can strengthen, which is called long-term facilitation, it can weaken, which is called long-term depression. And so if you continue this practice of, of changing your breathing, you ultimately may break down this uh, circuit, which is driving depression, which is driving anxiety, into a state which is much more manageable.